All right, we're going to look at actually several different types of plots in this video. So, you know, it could mean that you missed um, several different types of questions. The first thing you're looking at is it, this information might be presented in a table in the question. And if you click on it, it'll show you this, ta this table. But then you would want to click the little icon that then allows you to import this into Excel. And as you see here, I've already got the information imported into Excel. The question is going to want you to match it to a time plot. It's, you know, it's just a multiple choice question where you're matching it. But I just want to show you how easy it is to actually do a time plot using Excel. All right, so let's go ahead. Um, so anyway, so let's suppose this is uh, this has been imported and, you know, let, I'm assuming with these videos that, you know, a lot of it, you've been to seminar and you know how to click the little icon, it highlight where it says open in Excel and then it automatically brings it in like this. Well, in order to get a time plot done, I mean, you could look at these numbers and kind of tell what trend it's showing. But, you know, when you have to match it to the correct graph, there may be little details that you really want to see exactly what it looks like. I mean, I can kind of look at these numbers and tell that they're headed downward, but there may be more than one choice that's in the that's showing downward trends. And so in order to know which choice it would be, it would be nice to get Excel to show the specific um, time plot that fits the data. So easy to do, but what you don't want to do is highlight the year column. I am just going to highlight the percent enrolled column because those are those percentage enrolled is really the, the numbers that I'm interested in seeing um, the, on the vertical axis. That's the trend that, I, that I'm looking for is just the trend in the percent of enrolled students. So I'll show you how you can bring the years in, but otherwise you really just need the percent enrolled. You come up here to insert. And then the line chart is this one right here that is below the bar chart looking stuff. So you click on it, even says insert line chart. So after I've highlighted the percent and rolls, click on that, click on that. And there you have it. I mean, it's, it's honestly that easy to get. Um, if you needed to get the years in there, I mean, you could probably figure out the correct answer just from doing that. But if you needed to get the years in there, you just come down to this horizontal axis and right click somewhere on top, any of these numbers on top, click uh, select data in the middle. And where it says horizontal axis labels, I'm going to click edit and it's waiting for me to put in my label range. So I'm just going to go ahead and highlight these years, not going to even include the label, highlight the years and then just click OK. And click OK, and you'll see that it's got them. And, you know, you can stretch it out a little bit. There are different things you can do, but we don't need to worry about getting so fancy. I mean, I stretch it out, and I can, I'll be able, you should be able to figure out what the, what, what the correct choice is just by doing it that quickly in Excel. So that's my suggestion on doing a time plot is import it. You know, click the icon, import it, open it in Excel, and then let Excel do its thing. All right. On the other hand, you might, let's go to the next sheet. You might um, have missed a question that just involved um, different line charts or even bar charts, like what we call side-by-side -side bar charts or double bar, bar charts. Oh yeah, let me actually go back to this real quick. Um, so anyway, when we did the time plot, you're going to get a question about it. And like if you see a trend like this, what you really want to notice is Overall, the trend is downward. If it were headed in the other direction, it would have an overall upward trend, even though, you know, within the lines, sometimes it's decreasing, sometimes it's increasing and so forth. I mean, you know, there's fluctuations within this time period, but you want to be able to also pick out the overall trend. And because from the first year here to the last year here, it's an overall Pretty steady downward trend. You'll need to pick out that kind of information as well. All right, let's see. Okay, so another type of plot. Let's suppose I only wanted to look at psychology, uh, number of psychology students and number of education students enrolled or something like that. Let's not worry about business or nursing yet. Let's suppose I have, first off, 
Um, I'm going to highlight these bars. Let's suppose you look at the question and you see that it looks like this. And even I'll go ahead and put the years down here. Right click. You're not going to have to do all this in Excel. I'm just showing you. Um, quick edit that. All right. So what will happen is one of the questions might give you something like this. And it's going to ask you, uh, like, pick the choice that, that summarizes what, what you really see happening from this graph. Well, something you want to notice is the psych majors are the blue bars. Those are very much steadily increasing. In fact, pretty significantly, because you're looking basically at the tops of the blue bars and saying, yep, there, it's headed steadily upward. The, the orange bars, the education, also slightly upward trend, but not nearly as significant or strong of an upward trend as the psych majors. So, you know, you can clearly with a side-by-side -side bar chart like this, tell individually what is going on with the two majors and even compare them to each other. I mean, clear, clearly we can see that education is not going up as significantly as psych. And in fact, the, the number in, of enrolled in education is uh, every single year was definitely smaller than the number enrolled in psych. So, I mean, there's some things we can definitely tell from the graph. But suppose we were really more interested in trends over time. I mean, we can tell that from this. And in fact, um, let me look at some stuff. Yeah, I mean, we can definitely tell that um, the psych enrollment numbers are going up steadily and significantly. The education numbers are going up slightly, you know, not nearly as significant. In fact, there are even some years right in here where it, it dipped a little. So, I mean, those that's the kind of stuff we can tell from this. And again, it's also easy to compare the psych numbers to the education because we can clearly see that the education numbers each year are smaller. All right, but if we were more interested in just the general trend, then you would want to realize that this graph is somewhat cluttered and you really have to kind of focus your eyes on the separate colored bars to see what's happening individually. So if trend over time is the key thing that you want to see, and you want less clutter, then you would actually want to do a line chart, otherwise known as a time plot. So to do that, I would still highlight over both of these categories, but I'm going to come up here and go back to the line chart on this first one. And then right click, oops, click on the axis down there to where it's highlighted, right click, Oops, can't get it to do it. Right click where it says format axis. Oops, sorry. <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. All right, right click, sorry, select data. Go over here to horizontal axis labels, click edit, and then click and drag down my years again. All right, so I've got what I need. Anyway, the point being is they may ask you, they may give you this top graph and ask you to pick the correct choice of the line graph down here that fits it. Well, that's where it leaves it up to you to follow the blue and see that it is steadily increasing. Follow the orange for education and realize that in this time period, it dipped a little so that you could pick that out in the graph and then it headed upward a little bit more slowly. So you would have to know how to read this top graph enough that you could match it to the correct double line chart. That's one thing you might have to do, or that that's one question that you may have missed. And then it'll give you a, a question with just, you know, saying what's preferred. Well, the bottom graph is really preferred if you want to show trends over time, because it is definitely less cluttered and easier to sort of pronounce and emphasize that the psych majors are going up more significantly and at a faster rate than the education majors. So, you know, that should be enough to get you through, possibly, if that's the question that you missed. Then you may even get a question or questions that involve even more than two groups. So let me go ahead and take this out of here, delete that, delete that. So if I've got to compare four groups even, 
Well, it's kind of nice, uh, once again, that it, that would be one of those questions that would give you the table of information that looks like this. You would have the little magic icon to click once you click on the table, and you're going to match it to the correct choice again. If it were me, I would import it, you know, open it in Excel by clicking the little nice icon. And then I would come over here, highlight again. Don't highlight the years. It's much easier when you do that afterwards because otherwise it adds in an extra line into your chart. You don't want to do that. So anything that goes on the horizontal axis, you just wait and add that in later. So highlight your four categories now. Insert. Go back to the line, first one, and there you have it. You should be able to match it up pretty easily to the correct graph, even though it has four groups now. But just make sure you're matching the correct titles, like the gray line are the business majors. They, they are steadily higher than the other majors. And the yellow one is nursing. Nursing uh, looks like in, let me click, put the years in there. So I'm clicking the x-axis, right, yeah. Right-clicking, select data, edit, click and drag down my years. Okay, so now I've got the years in there. Click OK and OK. Um, but, you know, it's things that you're going to have to do in some of the questions this week is, you know, definitely see that like in 2009, the psych enrollment actually surpassed at that point, surpassed the nursing. And, you know, they have been close all the way back to 2000. But it was actually right in there that that um, the psych majors surpassed them. I mean, different things like that. That's in some of the questions. And then um, you know, education is not going. It's it's def definitely got an upward trend, but it's a much at a much slower rate of increase for the education majors. But you know, it's easy. In other words, I just showed you how quick and easy it is to get Excel to generate that for you because the data table is going to be back in this format back here. But to match it to the graph, literally just highlight these things right here, including the column headings, so that it'll end up down here at the bottom, and then just insert, and the line graph. It makes it so easy. Match those up. Let's see what else. Yeah, so that was literally just a match up. And remember, these line plots are nice to do because they have less clutter, and it is easier to see the trends over time. I mean, that's the key thing to think about with this stuff. So it's easier to see trends over time. All right, let's see what else. Um, I think that that would be it. You know, I've got a lot of different videos going here, but that would that's mainly it to show you the, um, if you missed a question that involved these line graphs or how it related back to that um, double bar chart that I showed you earlier. So hopefully that'll help you if you missed one of those questions on the line graphs.